and he won't stop. <sighs> Wait, is that supposed to be Laurie? Oh, shoot. Whoa. This is exactly why you don't go out by yourself, man. Well, I know she's gonna survive. There's no way she dies from this. Whoa. You see, hear those shots? Do those shots attract one walkers or two their group members? Which phone number, contact, or device do you want to call? Okay, Alexa, stop. But has Herschel now been brought back to this grounded version of himself where Let's he's. Head back. Yeah, he has. Come on, Herschel. You see, car. What did I say? Someone in their group searching. Dave. Tony. Sit over here. Tell any man I heard shots. I saw Roma's two three songs. There might be more around here. It's hot. We gotta get out of here. So they did hear shots. You want to attract them? Just get close. Bloody hell. Oh my god, look at it. Ooh, that's disgusting. Oh, that is so grim. Did she not take a single weapon to like stab it or shoot it in the face? Surely. Crap. What did she use? Did she just use the key or something? You see? Oh my god. Laurie, like, this decision on her behalf was so stupid, man. Like, maybe she'll end up helping Rick and maybe it ends up being worth it, but... Oh! Yeah, there's a lot more than just one, apparently. There's your gun, there's your gun. Hurry up. But be careful when you shoot them, that's the problem. We know what that does. People are walkers. What's worse? I do not want to know. She knows that it's at least Rick and Glenn, so they're not alone. Rick didn't go by himself, I and mean, then they probably have Herschel as well. Like, why does she feel the need to go after them? We're only drawing more and more attention to this farm. She may not have been at the farm, but the area we know now has got people and walkers. Head out first thing more. Wait, so they're actually gonna head out and help? I thought Shane didn't like risking the group for other people. Lori, in her. She's not in there. Where is she? She left, man. You see, and you watch Rick. Shane changes his mind about when they go look for her. She was worried about Rick, asked me to look in on Carl. She went after him? She didn't say that. Yeah, wow. Gonna be around here somewhere. <coughs> you, you watch Shane have, a, Shane have a double standard of this. We can't sit here any longer. Let's head out the back and make a run to the car. <gasps> What's he shooting? What? Rollers. I nailed him. Oh, walkers. They call them roamers. That's kind of cool how that detail they've got, like, different groups have different names for them, eh? Oh, shoot. Surely someone acts as a Yo, walker. Someone in there? Yo, someone's in there. We don't want no trouble. We're just looking for our friends. This place is crawling with corpses. If you could help us not get killed, I'd appreciate it. Oh. Make something up. They draw on us! Oh god, he's gonna be completely honest. Dave and Tony in there? They're dead. Are they alive? No! Kill Dave and Tony. Come on, man, let's go. No, I'm not leaving. I'm not telling Jane. I'm not gonna go back and tell them that Dave and Tony got shot by some assholes in a bar. Oh, for Your sake. friends draw on us! They gave us no choice! So let's just chalk this up to what it was. Wrong place! Wrong time. Oh, for God's sake, so they're not gonna listen. And Rick has to kill more people. Like, genuinely, now they're just trying to kill for the sake of killing out of revenge. Because when you killed our guy, we're gonna kill you. It's like, you don't, they don't even think about why that happened, do they? Don't do this. Please. Yeah, he's sort of I'm switching off about it. Yeah, that wasn't my problem, neither. <sighs> What's 
with him, man. I don't understand. Like, Daryl goes one second to being, like, right, super bar, soft and kind to them. The being super, like, she? angry. She asked Daryl to go into town. Must have gone herself. <gasps> oh, poor Carl. And you see, Carl. no, you watch Shane switch up immediately. You know about this? I wouldn't let her go out there alone. You see where he's going? Look what he's doing. That's what I find mad about this man. Absolutely crazy. He didn't do that for anyone. He didn't want to do that for Sophia. He didn't want to do that for Merle. He was completely against the idea of separating and splitting the group. And now as soon as it involves someone he cares about, what does he go and do? That just says everything to me. It just annoys me. They can't even have a conversation. Bro, he's going to have to... Has Glenn ever killed a person? Oh. Be careful about the front door. I'm alright, I'm alright. It's not ideal, man. And this is the thing, right? This is the decision I agree with on Shane's behalf, going after Laurie. But I don't agree with the fact that he's been anti this decision this whole time, you know? all that gun training could have come in handy now exactly can't shoot just don't like to oh, we can shoot go on <laughs> that oh my god glenn oh sorry bro imagine he fired then i want you to try for the car try you'll try and succeed i'll cover you go on herschel Sweet oh i've got boy. goosebumps Show. Did he hit Glenn? He must have hit Glenn. He's behind the dumpster. Did Doesn't he? Doesn't look like he's moving. Help. No way. Are you hit? No. No. Oh, Jesus Christ, Glenn. Say something. He's scared. You good? Yeah, come look at buddy that trying to try and help at least. Yeah, where the hell are they? Roman's all over the place! Hurry up! We gotta get out of here! What about Sean? They shot him! We gotta go! Romans are everywhere! They're just gonna leave him? Nah, bro, they Nah, you watch Rick Herschel and Glenn now help the guy. Something like that. Sounds like he just broke his bloody legs. I gotta go! I'm sorry! No! Wow! Nah, this is humanity, man. This is going... Rick's gonna save them both. Right now he's attracting Romans. Oh, wow. We have to go now. Ah. No, don't leave it, please. We don't. have to go. We can't. He was just shooting at us. He's a kid. We're not going to get that leg off without tearing the muscle to shreds. He certainly can't run. He may bleed out. Shut up. <laughs> Did you see that? I have to find some tender, cauterize the wound so he doesn't bleed out. Alright, no choice. Hurry up. Oh my god. Guys, walkers! A number of freaking walkers as well. Hurry up! I don't think there's any point in being like quiet now. Come on, there's no time! Marshall, come on! No, no, you don't leave it! Wow. Oh, Rick! Oh my god, that makes me feel sick, man. Imagine having to go through that. Oh. And now what? You alright? I'm fine. I gotta get you back. No, 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 we gotta find Rick. So they're gonna go together, is that right? He's back. They're all back, they're all safe and safe. You lying piece of... Oh my god! The number of times that I'm pausing this because what on earth is this episode? Hear me out about this, this is a really important point I've got. I do not think it's a smart idea for Laurie to go find Rick. I hate the fact that he lies. I hate it and it gets on my nerves. But, 
But, but, but, but, of all times he has lied, the outcome of this lie, if Rick, Herschel, Glenn and this new guy manage to successfully do what they're doing, I think it's the right decision. I think Laurie going back to the farm is the right decision. I don't think lying is the right decision, but the counter effect of it is right. I'm just gonna have to talk in a second, guys, because I think I've paused it too many times. I will get my thoughts out about that later, especially if something happens. Like, I reckon she'll be back at the farm. He won't be there. Would I have lied to her in that scenario? I think I would have just tried to argue with her of why it's the wrong idea. Not just blatantly lied and made that instant decision. I would have said, this is a bad idea because they may not be where we go and look for them. They may be back. We may run circles around them. We should go back to the farm, base ourselves, and if they're not back by morning, we go and search or something like that. Yeah, look at these ears, man. Why is he been doing that? You spent half your time minding your daughter's business instead of sticking your nose in everybody else's, she'd still be alive. You don't mean that. She knows you don't mean that. She's a smart girl. Yeah. You got no husband? No daughter? You don't know what to do with yourself. Shut you up, Daryl. You problem. Sophia wasn't mine! I like her, man. I like her a lot. <coughs> Maybe it's because he's starting to feel like his brother. Maybe... I mean, when did they start looking for Merle again? Where's Rick? Oh. Where are they? I had to get you back here. You asshole. Lord. Hey, my Lord, 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 I will go Where? after him. I will find him. Hey! Now look, first things first, I gotta... I gotta look after you. I gotta make sure the baby's alright, okay? Did anyone, did anyone even know about that? You're having a baby? Wow, you just told everyone, man. Why didn't you tell me? Let's make sure you're alright. Well, the thing is, is not everyone's going to be as accommodating as these guys, but... See, what I mean by Shane's first priority, like, it changes everything. I am so sorry <coughs> that I left without telling you. It's okay. I wasn't scared. You're sorry, a boss, no. Carl. We never had the talk. Oh, wow. Well. Look at me, that's your father's job. <coughs> the baby's a girl. Her name is Sophia. Wow. Hey, dude. Hey, I'm sorry, bud. Oh, Carl, you're a legend, man. You. Big brother Carl. Oh, I had to get you back here. You want to come otherwise? She's going to say it anyway. So I kind of like that he protected her. It makes me feel happy that he cares about someone and something, but... Thanks, bud. I think you ought to be thinking about how lucky we are to baby safe. You can't stop lying, can you? Yeah, my husband is back safe and sound. My husband is dead in some hospital. Uh, when are you going to stop throwing that in my face, huh? I thought that he was... To be fair, here. I've actually, like, re-watched that scene, and, um... You know how, like, the power went out? Um... And the monitor turned off so you couldn't see his heartbeat or anything. The first thought was like, well, he just saw that the machine, like, had him alive. But I guess, like, he doesn't know what kind of machines he's hooked up to. He doesn't know any of that. So the only thing he can do is listen. And if he didn't hear it, he didn't hear it. So I don't know. But then he put the bed in front of the thing. So maybe he always knew that he was. Maybe he saw, knew he saw the monitor and he was like, I don't know. That's why it's such a conflicting thing because we don't know what's in his brain. What are you thinking about? Like we needed Rick here to keep us safe. Rick, I'll keep you safe. Like you did with Otis. Oh, for God's sakes. You want to know what happened with Otis? What happened with Otis happened because I love you. Jesus. I love you. Is he admitting to it? I told Rick. You told, you told him what? I mean, you literally said to tell him what he wants. She wants. Did you, you tell him that you thought you were a widow? <laughs> you know, Lord, that ain't true. That was real. It was not. It was a long time coming. No, it was real. Lord, it was, was not. It was you, and it was me and Carl, and it was. I've paused this a billion times, and guys, we're just this is just gonna have to be a pausey reaction. We just have to deal with it. If I look at it, because it's been a while now, my I've moved a lot of the time I obviously look at things from Rick's perspective because I think I orient towards Rick a lot more but if you look at it from Shane's perspective as well right for all intents and purposes he thought Rick was dead Shane fell in love 
Like, we can all save us, oh, it's just the last woman alive, blah, 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 Like, no. They fell in love under the circumstances they had, and they had their moments, and they cared for each other. And there's no saying, Laurie keeps saying it's a mistake. That's not a mistake. And Shane cared about you immensely. I don't, I'm not convinced that he had that before. I think this may have been the first time that he felt that he loved someone. And on top of that, he doesn't know if this child's his or not, so he's sitting there contemplating whether he's going to be a father. And all he wants to do is protect her and protect Carl, and I don't think he gives that much of a shit about anything left in the world. Like, is that really that villainous? I think he's been through so much, and it's hard to see it when you when the show portrays him like this angry, hot-headed, not-to-like person. But he's grieving the same way. He's He's been through so much, and he's lost so much. He isn't just lost probably family. He's lost Laurie, he feels like he's lost Carl, he feels like he's lost his friendship with Rick. You know, like, there's a lot that has gone for this man. Like, the way Laurie treated him as well, just, and obviously he lied, right? But the way Laurie reacted, basically being like, no, 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 screw you. Stay away from Carl, stay away from me. For all intent and purpose, you have nothing to do with this family anymore. But then she goes and lies to Rick. Like, isn't that a bit of a double standard? Do you see where I'm coming from? Like, it's, oh, I think he gets a lot of stick, and I give him a lot of stick, and I'll, I'll admit it. And I think he deserves a lot of it, don't get me wrong. Like, I still think there's a lot about his character which I dislike and a lot of mysteriousness and, and, and uncomfortableness I have around him. But I can sympathise a hell of a lot with him. He's human. It was a one good day. It was, that's the thing. And I don't believe her saying it wasn't real and all that is legit. I don't think yeah, that's right. Oh, well, okay. it's daytime. They're not pets. They just need to be strong for her. <coughs> well, they would be sorting out that guy. I was just reminding That's her. the other thing. Do they come back to the farm? Can they risk bringing him back to the farm? Because, oh my god, I didn't even think about that. With them gone, he's got everything he wants and no one to tell him otherwise. Shane has done more to keep this group alive than anybody, including Rick. You can't possibly believe that. I do. Jesus. Yep, she's really, really liking Shane. And here they come. Oh. And they've brought someone, and it's going to be a decision that they aren't happy with. Oh my god. Oh my god. They didn't just take him back. Oh my god. Oh, shoot. There's a problem. Here's a problem. There's a problem. You watch. Oh, good your father, man. Come on. Poor Herschel. Prepare the shed for surgery. Accident now. I went looking for you. Stuck out on her own. Brought her back. Are you crazy? You Who the hell is that? You see, really? It's Randall. Oh, he's got a blindfold on. Is that to, so that you can't see where they've gone? So they have thought about it a little bit. Oh, bloody hell. Thank goodness. He won't be on his feet for at least a week. When he is, we give him a canteen, take him out to the main road, send him on his way. Isn't that the same as leaving him for the walkers? Like is it though? Chance. Is it really Just like that? Just let him go. You see, Daryl's come back in. Come on. He was blindfolded the whole way here. He's not a threat. Not a threat. How many of them were there? You killed three of their men. You took one of them hostage, but they just ain't gonna come looking. Uh, they left him for dead. Uh, no one is looking. We should still post a guard. <sighs> Look at this, folks. We back in fantasy land. You know, we haven't even dealt Shut with up, what you Shane. did at my barn yet. Let me make this perfectly clear once and for all. This is my farm. Now, I wanted you gone. Rick talked me out of it, but that doesn't mean I have to like it. So do us both a favor. Keep your mouth shut. Yeah! Go on, Herschel! I feel like I get too happy about that. I'm so happy that Daryl came inside. Something's not right with him, but she's gonna be- Bro, I love her, man. Rick, your dad, they were counting on me, and I- I only thought of myself. He's so young. That's the thing we've got to think about as well, compared to Rick, Shane, like- these the decisions that he makes, or decisions that he doesn't make. Think of the toll that takes on him. Like he's not even prime Glenn yet; he's just infant Glenn. Did you ever consider a lighter touch? Abandoning the search for Sophia, taking out the walkers in the barn, lying to Lori today. Those were all the right calls. It's your presentation that leaves something to be desired. Yeah, yes, exactly. That's what I was saying just before. I see you pushing everyone away. There's a better what? way of like encouraging people or talking to people or being a leader, not just oh, making the decisions yeah, for everyone, you know? She's kind of right though, like he just makes the, all the decisions for everyone. He doesn't, he, his approach is so bad, like he could be a good leader and we could have good conversations which we debate and talk about if he just was willing to be there open with everyone. Ow. 
couple of old people. <laughs> we need to talk about Shane. For God's sakes, guys. Okay, I'm sorry. One thing about this camera is it's got a 30 minute timer on it, so it just stops recording and it doesn't keep recording, like it doesn't make another file. And I'm just, it's just not my day today. It's seven three times. He thinks the baby's his. To which I respond with, oh my God. I didn't expect you to bring this up. No matter what, it's yours. She, yeah, she asked Rick to convince Shane, you're going to have to convince Shane yourself because I can't do it, he doesn't listen to me. Like, that's mental. Like, if you thought Shane and Rick's relationship was bad now, imagine when this conversation comes up. I have up. to make him, he won't listen to me. He's delusional and he's dangerous. He's threatened Dale. And Herschel, and he's scaring people, he's scaring me. And I think he killed Otis. To which I responded with, holy shoot, and then I paused it, so I haven't seen past this book. But that's I think mental. he did it not just to save Carl, but because he... He loves me. But you don't know that. How does Rick deal with that, man? That's... <sighs> I killed two people myself because of you. Then Carl. Is he like... Oh, baby. does he feel like he's having to try and plead his... And not them, no matter what. Wow. You didn't have to plead that to her, man. Killed the living to protect what's yours. That's right. He thinks the baby's. Wait. Yes. She's not. And he says you can't protect us. That you're gonna get us killed. She's not asking what I think she's asking, is she? He's dangerous, Rick. And he won't stop. Oh. Am I reading too much into that? Oh my god. Okay guys, I do not have a lot of time at all, so let's get straight into this conversation. This episode, basically, besides all the stuff that happened about getting Herschel back and this kid that's come and the consequence that that's caused and the conflict that that's caused about people not agreeing with that decision for whatever reason, once again, Rick is tasked with making a decision based on the morally right thing to do, not thinking of, like, it's less about the consequence, potential consequence, it's all about probability, right? That's what Shane sort of seems to be working on, like, Bringing this guy back was the wrong decision. It's risking the farm, blah, blah, blah. And I guess, ideally, in his scenario, he would have just killed him or something like that. Shoot. So that, besides that, which we I don't think we need to talk about, I think I've spoken about that a lot, it brings another question. Like, we've seen Shane once again having an issue with power, once again butting heads with Herschel this time, with Rick lying to Laurie, and almost like him cycling down this weird, weird, weird sort of... I'm not going to say delusional. Laurie keeps saying delusional, but I don't think it's that simple. He has every right to feel upset about what happened. He has every right to feel almost even like a little bit betrayed, if I'm completely honest. He, in my opinion, has lost so much that we just overlook because of the way he's acting. Think about it. If he acted a bit differently, maybe we'd feel more... We'd probably feel a lot more sorry for him, right? But then he also has every right to believe that that kid very well could be his. And what Laurie's just gone and said just blows my mind. It's almost like she's saying... Rick, if it comes to it, you need to kill Shane, which I think is what she's saying. What it sounds like is she's saying, you just need to kill Shane, because he's dangerous, he's threatened people, he, we think he's killed people, some of us know he's killed people, um, and we're scared around him, basically, what they're saying. Now, that is the wrong decision. We don't kill Shane. That's Shane logic to protect the group. We need Rick as Rick right now. We don't need Laurie in his ear like this. That actually blows my mind. That actually kind of pisses me off a little bit, actually. So yeah, now, goodness knows what Rick's going to do, but I have... The thing is, I have every faith that he will do the morally right thing to do, and worse comes to worse, he will do the thing to protect his own, if he has to. It's all about if he has to, if it comes to that last resort. He's not going to make rash decisions like Shane. I'm not saying he wouldn't make decisions like Shane. He has killed real people, but he's done it out of worst case scenario. If you put Shane in that scenario at that bar, do you think Shane just busts out and shoots them? I don't know. I don't really know if you like would have put him in that situation. If you were to swap the roles a bit, what would Shane do? But I just don't agree with what Laurie's just said. We can't kill Shane. He can be brought back. He can be, he has an art coming at some point, surely. He's problematic and he's a bit of an asshole, but killing him, getting rid of him is not the right decision. You see the divide, you see the line, you see where people agree and what they're agreeing with. And eventually, if something big happens, that's just going to tear apart. And then goodness knows what happens to this group. To be honest, and I till this day still think it will be Merle. Sorry. <clears throat> still just getting over this um, 
it's bloody sickness. Anyway, look, I can't talk for too much longer. In fact, I probably can't talk at all now. The point is, is there's a lot coming, guys. If I need to talk more, I'll talk about it. Maybe at the start of the next reaction. But we're in for a bloody bumpy ride, which I do not know the outcome of. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to leave it there, guys. If you enjoyed it, as ever, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for new content every single week. And of course, follow the Instagram, Daniel Reed with two Ds. And let me know down below what you thought of the reaction, the episode, and your thoughts at this point in time without any spoilers, guys. And I'll be sure to get to those as soon as they are moderated. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to leave it there. As ever, it's been your boy Dan. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.